Hello and welcome back. Two whispers say Hope suspects the truth is not what it appears to be, and that her daughter Sierra left her rings as a clue to her survival. As viewers will recall, Vincent, a villainous protege of Dr. Rolf, kidnapped Sierra. After Ben was rescued, after Byman aided Eve in an evil plot to brainwash Ben into killing Sierra, as revenge for Ben having killed his daughter, Paige. Then after Eve's arrest, it was revealed that Vincent Bellman had his own plans for revenge. He had been the fiancé of another of Ben's past murders, a midwife named Wendy, who was in the wrong place, at the wrong time when Ben went to look, to hire a midwife while holding a pregnant Abigail at the Horton cabin. Ben hired Wendy when after Thomas was born, then shot him and buried her as soon as the newborns arrived, and left with the baby, thinking he was the father. Chad turned to be Thomas's biological father. Vincent was still at large when Eve was arrested and kidnapped Sierra with deadly intentions. Ben, Hope, and Sierra's brother, Sean, follow Vincent to Wendy's old house, but they and Sierra miss him. However, Sierra left her necklace behind, so when they find out, they know she was there. Sierra and Vincent had a fight at home, and she stabbed him with her own syringe intended for him. Then he came, but she couldn't escape the house while he was still unconscious, and he forced her into a car, Wendy's car. Along the way, he looks confused and calls her Wendy. It's unclear if he was playing mind games with Sierra or if it was the result of what was in the syringe. He drove her to a private airfield, telling her they were going to leave Salem and start a new life. But he has a gun. He claimed the gun was meant to protect her, whom he still calls Ben's Wendy. Sierra tried to trick Vincent into the convincing him to let her try to open the gate to the airfield, which was locked. But then either gets away with it or stops mind games when he sees his wedding ring shouting, You're not Wendy. Sierra tried to tell him that the whole trip to the airfield Returning to Salem's PD, Hope and Sean discovered that Wendy's car had been spotted and deduced that Vincent was driving it and drove off. Vincent is still in the car as Sean and Hope pull out their guns to force him out. He runs away and the car explodes in front of Ben's eyes as he successfully tries to determine if Sierra is in the car inside. He passed out, flooded with smoke, before he could open it. Hope yells for Sierra and the firefighters arrive to put out the flames. After the fire is extinguished, the firefighters search in vain for a body. They only find Sierra's rings. Once she recovers from her horrific shock and wonders why nothing of Sierra was found other than her rings, she realizes that there's a chance, albeit slim, that there is. One way or another, Sierra could have gotten out of the car before they arrived and ran, leaving her rings as a clue to her survival. The car exploded before it could be determined if Sierra was in it. Ben couldn't get to the car for the flames, and she surely would have run towards him. But where could she be? Had she somehow knocked out Vincent, and had he just arrived as Hope, Sean, and Ben arrived at the airfield? Firefighters haven't found anything, but until forensic scientists determine there are human remains in the ashes and belong to Sierra, Hope won't give up. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, and see you again.